Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number four. And in this tutorial, I'm going to speak to you guys a little bit more about echoing text out to the browser. So in the previous video, we left off having learned all about the escape character and how we can use the escape character to escape uh, quotation marks that would otherwise give us an error. Okay, but there's a little bit more to it than that because not only can we print out normal text or plain text like this, we can also print out HTML tags as well. So let's say I wanted to print out the words welcome to PHP, but I wanted those uh, words to be a header. I could go ahead and put in an H1 tag and an ending h1 tag and type welcome to php in here and when i go ahead and save this and go back to firefox and click refresh you can see i've got welcome to php displayed as a header so it didn't print out the actual uh, smaller than and greater than sign with uh, the h1 in the middle or anything it actually read that or interpreted that as HTML and printed that out as HTML as well. Okay, so that's one cool thing about PHP is that we can, that we've, we've got the ability to print out HTML elements as well. Okay, and using our escape character, we could also go ahead and uh, give this uh, heading an ID. So. Uh, we could use single quotation marks or we could use uh, the double ones again and just escape them to give uh, to give this heading an ID so let's say uh, we set the ID equal to uh, something like um, heading then that would work uh, just fine as well okay so if we actually had like some CSS to uh, control that ID it would change as well but uh, we don't actually have anything like that at the moment okay and the next thing I wanted to speak to you guys about is called string concatenation and that is whenever you take two or more different strings or sentences and you join them together uh, so let's uh, go ahead and just make two different sentences over here so I'll just say, hi, my name is Quentin. Quentin. Couldn't even spell my own name right. That's embarrassing. Okay. So hi, my name is Quentin. And then the next one can say, I am 21 years old. Okay. So if we try and run this just as it is in uh, Firefox right now, we're going to get a bit of an error. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh. And as you can see, unexpected, I am 21 years old. Okay, that's because we ended our string and uh, again, PHP didn't know what this was. Okay, so we actually have to join these two different strings together somehow. And that's where um, this little full stop or uh, if you guys might call it the, the dot separator or a period symbol okay that's where that comes in handy okay because it joins this sentence or this string to that string so if we go ahead and save this and now we refresh this in Firefox you can see I've got hi my name is Quinton I am 21 years old so they have joined together uh, if you guys want it to look a little bit tidier and have a space, then you just need to include that space in your string. Uh, so if we go back to Firefox now, uh, you can see we've got the space there. Okay. And another way to actually print out two completely different strings is if instead of using the uh, full stop, you could use the comma. So it does the exact same thing really uh, if we go back here and click refresh you can see nothing changes and that's because this uh, comma was joining the two strings exactly the same as the 
full stop was. Okay, so it was just printing out one section and then the next section. Now, whenever you want to print out uh, more than one line, okay, you could have also done it like this. Okay, so uh, we could have had echo and then echo again. Okay, but whenever we have more than one statement, because this thing in PHP would be that would be one statement and this would be another new statement okay so whenever we're gonna print out or use more than one statement in PHP we have to use a semicolon just to end off our statements okay so that's something I didn't tell you guys in the last tutorial which I knew I had to work it into this tutorial somehow and uh, that basically just tells PHP okay this is the end of this statement okay so this semicolon is the end of this statement and this semicolon is the end of this statement it's the same thing as uh, using a full stop in English at the end of a sentence in programming or in PHP we just use a semicolon at the end of a statement just to tell the computer okay that is the end of the statement so just remember if you ever want to have more than one statement in between the PHP tags you have to use a semicolon if you're only gonna have one statement then a semicolon isn't necessary but if you're gonna have two then you have to have a semicolon otherwise you'll get an error okay and the last thing I should probably mention is that I've been teaching you guys how to print stuff out on the screen using the word echo okay but if you guys want to use the word print that works exactly the same it does pretty much exactly the same thing as echo uh, except it's one character longer so it's uh, it's longer to type uh, so I guess it save you time when you're coding to type echo instead of print okay and the other thing is most people always type echo anyways they don't type print so if we go ahead and just change that back uh, I'll be using echo in this series but if you guys want to use print then that's up to you so thank you very much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it's really gonna help my channel grow